Okay folks, it's Duke here, back in action. And today we're looking at a Springdale 301 TR that stands for theater room. It's kind of like a bunk room, but this is a very interesting unit. This is a 2022 model. There's been some updates for 2022. One of them you can see right up there, it is a solar panel on the roof. That's a 200 watt solar panel. You see there's a couple of slide outs on this end over here. Uh, this wouldn't work real well with the three quarter ton truck. Here are your specs on it right there. You could see the unloaded vehicle weight, 7,930 pounds. So we got to be careful about your uh, truck. There are some 150s that are ready to pull that much. We just got to make sure we do a good job checking everything out. Uh, one thing I want to talk about real quick is this traditional construction. Uh, you're going to have some uh, people tell you, if you visit RV dealers, they're going to tell you that the fiberglass is better. Like that style right there, uh, like you would find the smooth sided. That is actually not correct. There is no better or worse. There are, there are differences. And the construction of this is more uh, built similar to a house. It has a frame. Uh, there's uh, wood in there. And then it has uh, insulation. And then you can remove these individual panels. Uh, and if you needed to work on it, you can remove uh, this panel. This is a panel right from here up to there. Uh, where on the fiberglass, this is a, just a glued... This whole wall is a unit that's just glued together, and if uh, you took it apart for any reason, you're basically going to ruin it. Uh, but the big advantage to me in this type of construction is how well it holds up to the weather. Uh, th this, they've been building trailers like this for a long time, and there's a reason it works. Uh, it, they do hold up. If you're going to be parked out uh, in the open, out by the coast or something like that, I'd, I'd recommend one of these for sure if you're going to be in the sun. You'll see this gel coat will fade over time uh, uh, at a quicker rate than what you'll see on this aluminum siding. So just wanted to give you, a, uh, you know, just a little bit of information on that. There is no definitive answer is one better than the other. Anybody that tells you that, they're not really, you're, you need to talk to somebody else because it's just not true. Your experienced people in the RV business have been around for a while. Uh, find somebody that will give you a straight scoop if you're... Uh, trying to get information about that this one has a solid step so we're looking at the 301 TR it is a uh, very interesting model very practical you got the solid step and a big grab handle there it's a dual axle got an outdoor shower on it uh, it's got the electric uh, leveling sorry about the camera work here so I'm going to take a look at the inside now got two slides so one slide is the uh, in the back here is your uh, theater room it's like a bunk room uh, but it's got some uh, kind of a little bit different setup so got a big awning out here to work on my production get back in the swing of things here there's a couple of stereo speakers uh, but I'm Duke I'm over here at Holiday World and Katie I will be happy to help you if you're this one's available for sale that's why I'm featuring it on my channel so I'm gonna go straight to the theater room but before I do that I do want to commend Keystone for upgrading, updating their interior. They have really stepped it up on the decor, the colors, the fit and finish. They, they have made some improvements over the 2021 models. One of them is that solar panel. You see these lights are on. There's no battery. It's got a solar charge controller. Uh, state of the art for the RV industry to have a solar charge controller wired to where it will run the... Uh, lights and not just trickle charge the battery like a lot of the competitors do so here in this theater room you see there's two speakers right here there's your sound system there's a big tv now there's a bed right there too so you could use this area for sleeping uh, there's a big tv there and then there's a couple of other speakers here so you have four speakers you have these seats here that each one of those bases fold out into a twin bed so you could sleep one two three on this bunk right here this just folds down no big deal so the nice thing about this if you want an extra room it's a place the kids could play video games you could sit and play guitar uh, practice your violin whatever it is that you like to do that you enjoy in your life uh, uh, you just have a little space watch a football game you could put a second TV up there there are hookups for it there and uh, it's got the electric fireplace this is a 50 amp unit so as you uh, walk into that theater room, there is a 
pantry area right there so you've got some storage right here where you can store things you could use it for a pantry if you want to uh, and then right here on this side there is a full bath it's right back here so anybody going in and out of that bunk room theater room can cut through here they don't have to cut through the rig while you're watching TV or cooking uh, so uh, that is a nice layout well positioned toilet right there and so just backing away there so you can get a view of that and you notice this nice trim around this slide out it's kind of a uh, kind of oak looking color this makes into a bed also and so does that sofa jackknife so you can sleep quite a few people in this one but uh, this table right here it is it's you can move it which is kind of nice if uh, it's not stationary so if you need a little more room you can move it over and adjust it you've got some play in there to make it comfortable if you're doing some work having a meal whatever you're doing you're not just set with a, a, a certain set unadjustable table that's just set the way it is where it won't move and may not be comfortable for you you have this sofa right here just giving you a quick overview this one's available for sale if you have questions about it let me know watch out for the flashing lights if you're sensitive to that we don't have a battery in this one here is the kitchen galley area with a nice uh, size sink and you've got a big old microwave oven up here so we'll go ahead and take a look at the bedroom there's the fireplace puts out heat and uh, ambiance so you can walk around the bed and get on the bed from either side there's a window on each side of the bed there's an inverted outlet there so you could hook up a CPAP machine here there's a table plenty of room there's a laundry chute right there that drops down into the uh, pass-through area you can put a laundry basket right there throw your undies and t-shirts and so forth socks so this is the bedroom right here there is a hookup for a TV there is a vent there uh, kind of doubles as a Sort of like a skylight, it lets in some natural light. You can put a little, uh, they have little inserts that go right in there. And here is the control panel for your slide outs and your mon systems monitors, things like that. You can see that residential looking faucet, very functional. So hey, thanks for viewing my video. I'll put my contact information in the description below and in the section that's coming up right after that. I'll be happy to help you. If you're interested in this one, just call me. I'm Duke, I'm at 281. 467-0659. I will be happy to assist you. I'll show you how easy it is to do business with me here at Holiday World in Katy. Thank you so much. Katy, Texas. That's where we're located. I'll help you anywhere you are. We've got a campground. You can come stay in our campground. Uh, pick up your rig. We'll go over everything with you. But when you're staying in the campground, uh, make sure everything's right before you leave the area. Stay for a few days. You'll be my guest. I'll be your host can do some urban camping in the Houston, Texas area. Hey, thanks for viewing my video. Hope you are doing well.